Now, the 10-minute drill. This is a big one. Brought to you by TireOutlet.com. Wholesale prices, premium service. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, we got the 10-minute uh, drill, sports concepts and rationalizations. Maybe slide in a couple other questions real quick uh, about other sports. I'm but, game. Uh, definitely uh, Super Bowl dominated as the uh, Patriots win again. Their sixth championship ties them with the Pittsburgh Steelers. They've been to more Super Bowls than anybody in the history of the National Football League. Robert Kraft is one of the all-time uh, great owners because he took Bill Belichick away from the New York Football Jets, who must hate the New England Patriots with all their fiber. Um, uh, Jeff, uh, uh, at the end of this, we will give away a prize pack beef. What are we giving away this week? Uh, boogity, 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 Danny. We're oh. going racing again. Oh. This time, uh, one lucky Guggen will win a pair of tickets to the Next Era Energy 250 down at Daytona. That's coming up on Friday the 15th. Plus, for our friends going down for the race, lunch for you and a buddy at Chick-fil-A. All right. Very good. Uh, Jeff, I'll start with a little bit. We talked a lot about the Patriots. I'll start from the Rams' vantage point. Yeah. I'll I'll ask you this question. Um, if Todd Gurley really wasn't injured, then uh, Sean McVay's a dum dumb. Uh, he's their yeah. best player, and uh, he had a couple explosive runs in the second half. I don't understand how uh, they told everybody, and I, I assume I, I keep waiting for the news at some point that he has a torn meniscus and will require some surgery and that he played hurt, et cetera, but – um, just your your has to analysis of that has yeah. to be heard. Even I, I thought, what if he wasn't hurt? Is Sean McVay a dum dum? Yeah, yeah, right. For sure, you're yeah. a dum dum for not for you're... getting away from the run. Why would he only have one carry throughout well, the first quarter and, and a half? Well, and if you really look at, at Todd Gurley's year, it's not just the run. I mean, he'll have you know seven yes. catches, eighty one yards. He's your best player. Has to be hurt. He's their best offensive player, and he's not even close. Yeah, I mean, he's better than Goff and Cooks and Woods, and they've got some terrific football players. Which is just even more credit to Bill Belichick and the uh, the defensive scheme that they that they drew up. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I thought there were, you know, I thought there were opportunities for the Rams. The, the terrible play by Goff when he had Cooks open for twenty yards and didn't see him till the end. That the one hurt. down the middle. Yeah, he 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 was open from this first yes. step. Yes, so that was a terrible miss. Yeah. And then Cooks later had a chance to 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 pull in a touchdown, a catch, and he couldn't. But at the end of the day, um. It, from the Rams' perspective, I, I, I have two hopes. One hope is I got a good young offensive nucleus here. Gurley's still a young guy. Goff's a young quarterback. The right. receivers are, right. are young. I mean, I, I I feel good. But on the other side, you know, we've watched the Rams sign any and everyone that came along. At some point, does that catch up with them? Right? Right. I'm giving all this money to Tlaib and Peters and Sue and Gurley. Yeah. And, Cooks and I mean at some point right there's got to be some yeah. uh, pushback so you know, we'll see look it, it's you know I'm sure there are a lot of teams that get there and think that they'll get back and I don't think that there's any uh, any guarantees I wonder if there's not a, a lingering hangover for Sean McVay who got really humbled uh, last night super humbled um, Somehow, Dan, already yes, we are looking uh, towards next year's uh, Super Bowl uh-huh. uh, odds. And yes. I don't know if you know this, but the uh, the Patriots aren't the favorite to yeah, win. That's dumb, uh, <laughs> by the way. I, uh, I'll jump right in. And uh, listen, I, I get it. I'm sure the Chiefs probably are. and They are. And and, and I'm sure the, the Saints and the, the, you know. and the Saints the, are tied with the Patriots and the Rams. Yeah, but, but uh, with all due respect, uh, again, uh, I'm never betting against New England, as I've said now for a while, um, nor should anyone until those boys are not coaching and playing anymore. Yeah. Um, they're, they're the, I, I, I tried to tell everyone a couple years ago, you should never, ever deal with the New England Patriots. If you're any one of the other 31 teams, I'm beginning to wonder if in the end they're they fleeced the 49ers when they traded Jimmy Garoppolo away for goodness sakes for a second round pick. So, um, listen, it's an incredible run, an incredible dynasty. I was telling you in the break, it seems like they have this formula for players because it's 17, 18 years long now. So these players don't last except Brady, right? So I think they have this formula like they have little quick slot receiver and they go from, you know, Welker, Welker. to Amendola to Edelman. 
and and they have uh, uh, hey, don't forget Troy Brown, Deion Branch, correct. been around longer than these guys. Correct. Good point. And they have uh, 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 running backs, and they find the right running back, and now they've. Uh, uh, I mean, Rex Burkhead is sealing the deal for him. Sony Michelle is you know uh, 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 running hard for them from uh, go back to. Uh, Falk and, uh, 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 you know, who's James White before James White. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, sure. Uh, Van Noy is Ninkovich, who was Brewski. Who, you know, so it's like they got to. They always certain- have that one. He's smart, too. He's always, it seems like they always have the one shut down corner. Yes. Like it's Stephon Gilmore. Now it's been Ty Law. Went to the Hall of Fame this weekend in the past. It's yes. been. Uh, you know, it was Malcolm Butler for a brief time. It was keep to lead for a year. He all he knows. Yes. I've got to have one yes, guy that can shut one. it down. One great corner. So much smarter they... than everyone else. Yes. And, and by the way, can we officially now just stop with the narrative about spy gate or deflate gate or any other gate? There's well, one gate. It's the gate that the Patriots kick your butt out of every year. Well, they where. probably did something this year that'll make them lose a draft <laughs> pick, but that's okay. It's uh, it's just it just uh, they just win, baby. Uh, let's do a couple other things yeah. and then we'll get uh, back to the Super Bowl. Um, the, uh, the Florida Gator basketball team was up 11 points. Mm. Uh, that dadgum Dockage mushed us. He did. It I've was never, dead on. I mean, he was better than Romo what I this know. guy did. So yeah. here's what happens. The Gators yeah, are up. He sure did. They're up 43-32. Yes. And Kavarius Hayes. Going to the free throw line. Going to the free throw These are big free throws. He needs to make these. This could be a turning point if he doesn't. And Dockage, like, scratches his head and says, I don't know. I just got the feeling. Like, yeah. these are big free throws at this point in the game. And clang, clang. Yeah. Went Kavarius, and then 3-3, three, three, and it's a timeout, yeah. and it's a five-point game. I will say this to the, the really tried and true died in the wool Gator fans out there. You, sh- you should be very, very optimistic. This is a young team that's getting great experience. They're not quite good enough, Dan, to beat right. these good teams. Right. Right? The Michigan States and the Tennessees and the Kentucky. But they play them tough, man. Yeah. I mean, they play them hard. Yeah. Those are five-point games in the final couple of minutes, and then it gets away from them. They're, nuts, not, they're just not quite good enough yet, but they're young, and they'll bring everyone but uh, Allen and Hudson back and – you know, Noah Locke's going to be a better shooter than Kevon Allen. He's going to – whatever records Kevon Allen sets, Noah Locke is going to break. Right. They, they've got a really good young nucleus, and they've got a great recruiting class coming in. So, uh, I'm not real concerned um, about that. I Dockage, by the way, has grown on me. I think yeah, he's outstanding. He's great. Yeah. Anyway. But it was – he made Tony Romo uh, yeah, he did. look inaccurate with the way he called that one, and I just couldn't believe it as it just went tick, tick, tick from that point uh, forward. It was very disappointing. And once Kentucky got up five, I, I, I had to switch it. I mean, I've seen the movie. I didn't even want to <laughs> – I didn't want to know the final result. Yeah. That's it. I know yeah. this isn't happening. Uh, Dan, uh, beyond the, the, the terrible scope of the allegations against – Mm-hmm. Uh, DeAndre Francois, and if true, then, you know, you shouldn't be kicked off a team. You should be kicked out of society for, you know, one to three years. It's time to get some jail time and some and some therapy yeah. if, the, if this is accurate. Well, he needs help. He's uh, – it looks like – I mean, you don't want to convict anyone, uh, but the tape is damning. The audio tape, if you've listened to it, is bad. Uh, it's um, – uh, uh, you know they know because they have released him immediately, Dan. Sure, of course they know. They didn't do any vetting, so, no. yeah. He... Well, listen, remember this, too. There's been other incidents, I mean, uh, uh, through the years with DeAndre Francois. So, I, uh, listen, uh, the kid is uh, – uh, He's going to pay because he's ruined his life. He's not going to – I don't know. He's now no. non-touchable. Yeah, the league will never draft I don't, him. I don't think he can go play no. college football anywhere. I don't either. I don't think he can go to the and NFL. You know what, man? Everyone deserves a second chance, but in this case, well-deserved. Well, he may have gotten his second chance, yeah. and he screwed it that's up. True I think too. that's what happened. I think he got more than at one chance, and so uh, – Yeah, if you empower and enable an abuser, whether yes. it's a sexual harasser or a domestic violence, inevitably they're going to go back to that, that plate. Yeah. It seems like. Yeah. It's so anyway, uh, in case you missed it over the weekend, uh, a tape surfaced that uh, did. I don't know who recorded it. Maybe she the did. young lady did. And it is vile and despicable. And then she posted on Instagram basically how she even lost her first child because of the, the beatings, beatings that he gave her. Uh, that he gave her. And if and she yes, yeah, she stayed in it. Again, uh, domestic her- violence is a horrible, horrible thing. And I would again encourage and I know she and she said it you know it's like you've got to get out of those relationships uh uh ladies because uh the dudes don't you don't give them another chance they, I they mean, don't just change go like away. I said you empower and enable yeah. them they're gonna keep 
So uh, it's a, victimizing. It's you. a heartbreaking story all the way I around. I was going to ask you about the football ramifications, <laughs> yes. Dan. And I know that's not important to this young girl, but to the sure you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of FSU fans yeah. in the state. That is a tremendous loss. They've got one quarterback, and he's frail. Yes, and he'll be the guy now. He'll be out of the portal, but uh, there's some question whether he, he was just filling out the paperwork for the portal. But regardless, he's uh, Blackman. They're not going to will... be good enough with James Blackman alone at quarterback to have any tremendous improvement. No. FSU is now going to sli- slide into a third year yes. of obscurity. Yes. And ask Miami how dangerous that is. Remember, Bailey Hockman left and went to NC State. Um, uh, Francois is gone. That leaves James Blackman. They have a uh, recruit. Uh, or a transfer from Louisville, but he's ineligible, I think, for yeah. the year. They'll sign someone, they think, on Wednesday. Uh, they did get a bit of good news uh, for 2020 is Jeff Sims, the Sandalwood kid. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, verbally weekend. committed. He's a, he's a, he's a pocket-passing quarterback, and he's a very talented young man. A great family. But Mike Sims Walker's nephew, by the way. I think Jeff's dad is Mike Sims Walker's brother, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think so, too. But uh, we, we followed him around on the TV side uh, this year, and, and and good kid. Like, he goes and uh, works with his dad, mows lawns. Uh, we ran into him uh, feeding the homeless. I mean, so good kid, good family. So that's a good guy that they got. But they are – they're that's 2020. So right. – they, they. I just want to. I just saying. Yeah, they're thin. This, this thing is going to resonate. For yes. The terri- first for the de- terrible, and if, despicable and, and, and if, law-breaking act, yes. but the football program suffers too. Correct. Correct. Without a doubt. Yes. All right. I. Uh, this will surprise. I've never. It's mm-hmm. been a long time where I rooted as hard for a guy and was as impressed with a guy's attitude and demeanor in in a tough situation than than I was and did with Ricky Fowler yesterday. Because you had him in the pool. No. Oh. Just for who he was. <laughs> Yeah, for, I, it Ricky was over. Fowler, he had lost it. He got the worst breaks yes. ever. First of all, the chip should have never rolled in the water. I know. He didn't blade it or no, skull it. Something's it was, wrong with the course. Something the happened. Setup. Yeah. <laughs> so if you missed it yesterday, Ricky Fowler chips a ball. It rolls over the green, down the slope, and into the water. Oh, well, he's in uh, two, out three, hitting four. Uh-huh. So because of the slope of where the hazard line is, or I guess they call it now the penalty area. Yes. What about all these grammatical changes over the weekend. I don't, crazy? I didn't pay enough attention, yeah, whatever. But, but anyway, there was also a weird penalty the day before, right? Uh, they ruled on, on some guy and then I don't, I don't McCarthy or something. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't oh, okay. see that, oh. but so uh, Fowler, because it's on a slope, he drops it a couple of times, falls back inside the, the line. So you get to place the ball. So, you know, he hits it in into out and three places, the ball in four, and goes up to, like, look at his chip, walks up to the green, and the ball rolls into the water again. And, uh, sorry, that's a penalty. Right. He gets hit with another one, calls the slugger white, you know, comes slugger. out. And they go through the rules and the and the you know, why they're they're doing what they're doing. And he just got a terrible break. And he didn't didn't complain. He didn't show it. He, he went bogey. He, he made a triple. The guy won a golf tournament making a triple and a double in the final round. Well, it's he never, had. Never happened since 1983. Did he start with a five-stroke lead? Yeah. Okay. No, he, well, he had a five-stroke lead. I don't know if it was five in the beginning. I think it was more like three or four. I think he started four, but got up to five, but lost the entire lead and was down a stroke yeah. and finished. And and you have to understand, Ricky Fowler's the one of the worst closers on the PGA Tour. Uh, and Especially so, there. Right. And so, oh, my God, here it is again. And uh, somehow gathered himself and, 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 for lack of a better term, nutted up and – Threw in a couple birdies and won the tournament. So, congrats uh, to him. It was a nice victory for uh, Ricky Fowler, and we'll see if that could springboard him to a uh, to a successful year. So that was uh, that was well done uh, by Ricky. I, of course, was rooting for Justin Thomas, so I was a little disappointed. Okay, in that. well, and at the risk of putting what I think has been an excellent start to the show today, yes, I feel like the friendship ometer is, is uh-huh. peaking pretty good. Yes. There's a mutual respect and admiration yes. for the very good points that are being made oh, on no. both sides. Why is it? Because I'm going to ruin it when we come back. And oh. I'm going to tell you who I've decided. Yes. I think the Jaguars should employ a quarterback next year, and you're going to be angry with me. Oh, dear. <laughs> Let's do caller number three right now. Beef, tell them what they're winning. I found our quarterback. Oh, God, no. Yes. I'm saddling this guy the up Johnny for a Manziel bridge here. Again? I'm saddling up a bridge here. <laughs> Next. Oh, no. Call number three right now, 641-1010. It's going to get a pair of tickets down to uh, Daytona for the Next Era Energy 250. 
course, that comes up on February 15th down at Daytona. You'll also get lunch for you and a friend at Chick-fil-A. Call number three right now, 641-1010.